out of space, but that's good. I can chop this video up into two pieces. So, like I said, intimate partnership for me um, is more than just us having sex. And um, if it were to be a strictly sexual relationship, it would need to be with someone that understands how energy works. And for many years, I've allowed myself to be a cosmic dumping ground for people. I felt like as a trans, as a goddess of transformation and transfiguration, as a, a woman of transfiguration and trans mutation, that I could handle it. And a lot of energy has gotten stuck in me because I put myself in places I had no business being trying to do work that I thought was noble or loving. And so I'm learning how to love different. And that love requires me to create clear boundaries and to be very intentional on who I allow into my energetic space. And moving forward, it will be people who are coming not just to dump their energy into me or to um, look to only gain wisdom from me, but will be in a position to... Uh, create sacred spaces where we heal each other, where we transcend and move energy together. And <clears throat> it takes more than good dick to do that. I like good dick. Uh, I miss good dick. I miss having good dick in my life. But um, if you're stuck on the space of only wanting to insert your penis in me, then... <clears throat> I don't think you're maximizing the gift that I came on the planet to be. And I refuse to let you not show up for yourself. I, I feel like you would be doing yourself a disservice not to fully recognize the, the, the multifaceted, dynamic individual that I am. And that there are many ways for me to help you heal and feel well. And that... Women are more than sexual objects. Um, so that's where I am with that. I felt like I needed to be intentional with that this morning. I feel like it needed to be stated. You know, um, I like being attractive. Uh, I love being a woman that uh, can be an object of desire, but I will not be limited to that. Um, there's so much more to me than that. And... Um, I want someone who wants to love me like creator. So when I think of creator's energy, when I think of God's energy, and I think of the way that level of focus to bring creation into life, I want someone who has that level of focus when it comes to who he shares himself with, who has that level of intention with who he shares himself with. Uh, the divine masculine has to show up, someone who is, has a level of emotional intelligence and it is working as I am working because I am not perfect and I am working every day to do and who has a spiritual toolkit, um, who has mentors and who's willing to listen and to learn in this life how to appreciate the fullness of a woman. I am not a little girl. So, you know, and that's not to... To, 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 um, I don't mean that in a negative way for young women. I mean that I am maturing and I wish I would have done it before I was 46 years old. I wish I would have seen my worth sooner. I wish I would have understand or understood that I am more than here for, to be of service. I'm also here to be served. And so... Yeah, that's where I am with that. Um, you can't be my cosmic lover if you're not coming with cosmic love, shouty. <laughs> and I'm not a jump off. And that's not to say that there is anything wrong with being that. It's just not what I am. So if you're not ready to build something in yourself, in me, through us, then you're going to have to look for somebody else because I'm not the one. That's all I got to say about that. Y'all have a good day. Peace.